And now I would like you to, instead of land, like airplane landing, I'd like you to drop a bomb, like press down. Okay? Yeah, press down. But don't be too rough. When you press down, your brush tip is like a slight 45 degree angle, like so. Hmm? Whether you're left-handed or right-handed, do that, okay? So, and then if you can maintain the pressure across. Try to maintain the pressure now, huh? Wonderful, Marie. So we press at an angle and then we move by maintaining the pressure. Use your whole arm. Good. Yes, you can carry as long as you want. Beautiful. Okay. Maintain the, the pressure all the way to the end. Yeah, no lifting, just maintain the pressure all the way. Wonderful. Perfect. Okay, let's check now. Everybody, let's check. I'm you changing to a bigger brush you, you can see. As you do this stroke, where is the tip of the brush? I want you to run that stroke of yours again and tell me roughly where is the tip of the brush. Is it traveling on one side the other side as you move. Behind. It's behind. That's what we want. But a lot of times as you press like that, as you travel, naturally it tends to be staying on one side, mm -hmm. is it? Right? So the the Chinese language is square. All the characters mm -hmm. are not like orchid. They are more like this, okay? But they, they realize if you just press like that and move like that, you, your tip is traveling on, on one side and you only can control that one side. So the Chinese learn to do a pivot at the beginning, okay? That little pivot, whether you're left-handed or right-handed, that pivot, that pivot makes the brush stay in the middle, okay? And the Chinese character, character of China is stay in the middle. That is the essence, that's why Chinese called Middle Kingdom back in the day. So this brush tip in the middle is a big deal, okay? And we all know this, this movie called what? Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, hmm? This brush tip is your dragon. You want to keep it hidden as you move. You don't want to expose it to one side or the other, okay? So now, Let's do that stroke with that thought in mind. Huh? You will press at an angle, but you pivot. While you pivot, you don't want to disturb the shape. So you will do a little bit like your whole arm. Hmm? Your whole arm, like the clock, the brush body is pivot like a quarter, right? Naturally. And then once that pivot is established, you see the tip has not altered the shape. And then you start move over to the other side, okay? I want to check that pivot one second for you. That is very good, Marie. It just stay just a little bit right. slower. Don't try to, while pivoting, already move it, okay? okay? So pivot, then move. 
that is good. That is very good. Very good and good is the same. I just want to <laughs> uh, uh, change. Yes, very good. Excellent, Ma. Excellent. All right. So there is a little bit preparation now. And this is the beginning of writing. This particular stroke we call the bone stroke. B O N D. B O N D. Bone. It's like a bone. Yeah. You see that beginning? All right. Once we start, pivot, carry the same pressure. How do we end? We end by doing this. There is a little bit ring back motion, okay? So, pivot, move with draw. Pivot, move with draw. Okay. So there is this ending part with the brush tip doing this. Hmm? Mm -hmm. So now work the stroke. <coughs> Press, pivot, move, withdraw. Physically rounding off the other end. Hmm? That is like generate the opposite force generate energy. So it's like the horse is dashing out and then you want to bring it back because it reached to a cliff. Have to halt it. Okay. So press, pivot, move, withdraw. That's good. I, I noticed that some minor correction needed. Some of us twisting with fingers. I need mm -hmm. physically see your arm. Maintain your arm motion. Okay, body is perfect. Very good, Dennis. Okay, when you end, don't mm -hmm. press too hard. So good. That is so good. Beautiful. When you end, I still need you to complete that motion a little bit more. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. You good. Good, already. All right. This is, by the way, the best class I ever had. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> already impressed me no end. Especially Marie. Especially Marie, yes. Positive thinking. Um, brush painting, especially this spontaneous style, is based on that. Is everything happens. You are not at fault. You are the executor, and there is a higher order going through your hand. Hmm? So if you leave things alone, you're blameless. You never make mistake. Okay. But if you Admit your mistake by going back, trying to fix, mm -hmm. then it's all your fault. Mm -hmm. right? It's your decision. It's no longer something naturally happened. So, so far, I have not noticed anyone go back and say, oh, I need to make that end 
this way or that. 